stretching three miles in a broad arc connecting on the north and south with the Tensaw River. Fort Blakely was an interconnected line of earthworks, studded with nearly 40 pieces of artillery and manned by some 3,500 troops. In front of the fort, for a distance of several hundred yards, virtually all the trees had been cleared. Confederates had placed a number of obstacles to approach in front of Fort Blakely at the time of the battle. These included some of the trees failed to create the open ground in front of the fort, landmines, and even telegraph wire strung between some of the stumps of the trees that had been cut down to slow any potential attacking force. Just a few dozen yards from the main line in front of the redoubts of Fort Blakely was a row of sharpened stakes with ominous points bristling defiance to intruders. A deep and wide dry ditch fronted the redoubts as well, which would force any troops somehow successfully making their way to the main line to scale the steep slope of the fortification before gaining entry. 